guys, back with another tutorial uh, for Java game development. And today I'm going to teach you how to put music in your game. And yeah, let's get started. So first you put your music into the resources folder that we made before. And it has to be an OGG file. Nothing else works with it. It just, I don't know. So you need to go into properties and you're going to add a new jar to the build path. So, what you need is JOGG and J Orbis. Click add, click the jars button. Simple, did that before. And yeah, click OK. So, once you've done that, now you can start adding that music. So, right here, you're going to make a new music thingy. And call the music whatever you want. I'm going to call it Kalimba, because that's the song I'm using. If I could spell it right. Okay, even more wrong. And over here, where you imported that image, you're gonna do the same thing, but it's gonna be like for music. And oh, resources. Oh, the spelling was right there too. Smart me. And now after you put it in there, now you can play it. So, Kayimbal, and you play. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna affect the pitch. To, we're not gonna affect the pitch, but we're gonna affect the volume. Cause it's pretty loud. So, I'll put it to 1.1, 1 .1, just to be safe. And play. Now, if you want it to loop instead of play, I think you have to, instead of do play, you do loop. So, now we're going to try that on our little pawn game. And let's see what we get. Okay, you know, you can always run in the background. Alright, let it load. It is loading. And then, yeah, mm -hmm. got your song. And yeah, and so it will loop instead of just play once. Now, if you would like it to actually bring your play, then don't turn it to loop. Yeah, that second argument controls the volume. I don't know what pitch does. But so tempted to do so, so I will. I'm gonna tune up the pitch to like three. Let's see how they like it. So we're gonna start this again. I'm just always running the background, gosh. Now let's see what happens. This ought to be fun. Okay. Like 